Well, hello. <laughs> this is Aura Watcher. I'm going to try to do something different today. Can't really see my face that well. But, anyways, I'll just hold this up for a little bit. So, my one friend says I'm funny, but you know what? I don't really think I'm funny. I think that the bottom line is, is if we don't laugh at life, we are doomed. We're simply doomed. You know, I was thinking the other day when it comes to relationships, you know, I'm 45 years old and I've had a few encounters with some, you know, not so gentlemanly gentlemen in the last couple years. And I've realized that what it comes down to is that, you know, we have, sorry about that, we have, you know, like... We have only so much time to get certain things right. Well, that's what it seems like anyways. And we only have a certain amount of time to get things right. And at 45 years old, I personally don't feel like chasing anyone anymore because my bones are getting fucking brittle. And I'm afraid I'm going to, like, you know, break a hip or something. Chasing after that one thing or that one person. And lately it's like the twin flame. What is it with the twin flame thing? Can anybody tell me what... You know, I personally believe that we have more than just one aspect of ourself. And, you know, all these people, we're all chasing our twin flame. We're chasing our twin flame. Or our twin flame is chasing us. And we're being so distracted that we're forgetting about the true element of living. And that's to laugh, of course, above all else. Who doesn't want to laugh, right? And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now in the metaphysical world and, like, the aspects of reality that a lot of people choose to ignore and for me lately there's been a lot of of certain types of people sending spirits or doing spells or you know not taking accountability for who they are and what they are trying to accomplish be it good or bad negative or positive and you know what's hilarious is when these ghosts show up or these demons or these things that go bump in the night. They don't wear a name tag. They don't say, hey, I'm so-and-so from the ninth depth of hell. Or I'm your long-lost Uncle Richard from the 13th century. And I've been searching for you for a long time, dearie. If I had that much knowledge and focus that I would be concentrating on every little thing that comes my way, all the spirits, all the negative entities, and, you know, I wouldn't get anything accomplished. I wouldn't get anything done. It's true. I wouldn't get a thing done. I wouldn't be making music. I wouldn't be writing books. I wouldn't be living. For me, the one thing I've wanted to accomplish was finding the right mate or person for a while I was chasing that twin flame thing like you know a little kid chasing a butterfly with a net and you don't know any better and to want to capture something for yourself that to me is not so remarkable anymore it's more like what do I want to share of myself with others? What do I want to give of myself to others? That's what's important, is the giving and not so much the taking anymore. Who wants to be around a greedy person anyways? I mean, and speaking of greedy people, how about those narcissists? You know the original story about the narcissist, right? I believe it was Greek mythology, and this, this man was so enthralled with his own image that he fell in love with himself, and I think he gave himself to the watery depths. Like, I think he died from being so captivated by his own image that he drowned in this pool of water, if I recall. The frick is that? Who does that, right? Who... Who is that enthralled with themselves that they forget about everything else in their life? 
you know, you should love yourself. It's true. You should ultimately first love yourself. Love yourself before you love someone else. You can even make love to yourself. You can learn how to be a lover before you become someone else's lover. And there is so much of this going on. And this is really for the people that really know on a cellular soul level, like they can remember who they were before. Those of you who have that ability, you need to realize that like the ego and the narcissist inside of you has to do with the many lifetimes you've lived and the, and the many accomplishments or disappointments you've had. That after it all comes down to it, sure, you have to depend on yourself, but not to the point of narcissism where you defy everything else. And those of you who, those who are important to you, or I, they feel that you're important to them, they become at the bottom of, of the level for you. And a lot of heads get stepped on, and it's like the seven heads of the fallen, right? Do, 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 do. You know, I can see those heads just falling to the ground, like, you know, some of them, old ones, have let go of their ego, while others are holding on to it so tightly. Like, in a cartoon, imagine just, like, this cartoon figure holding on to, like, a tree stump in the wind, and it's blowing, and they can't let go. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're, you're holding on to that ego so tightly, you're afraid of what comes next. You're afraid of it. And quite frankly, you should be. For those entities and spirits that are tormenting people right now through the means of a human or just naturally doing it, and trust me, they're everywhere. They're like little parasites in the movies you see. And they, you know, they get into your brain and they're like, hello, I'm a little worm. And what am I going to do with you, my host? Do you really need to be that? Isn't it time we shed those parasites, whether they're attached to our ego, our human organs, our mind? These parasites don't have name tags either. They're not identifying, hi, I'm Stan the Worm. Right? They're not identifying themselves as anything. I see the spirits that do identify themselves, those have egos. Some of them are narcissistic in nature. These figures we call demons or these entities that are out there, we have many, they have many names. When I say we, you know, there are things out there that are constantly at work and at play. I know there's somebody standing next to me right now. They are trying very hard to get our attention. They really want us to listen to them. They want us to know what they're feeling and what they're experiencing, but they don't wear freaking name tags. They don't identify themselves, and many of them will lie. And if you think that you're channeling something, it could very well be something else. Everybody in this field kind of learns the hard way from time to time. Um, for all the people that are casting against others, that are summoning, that are sending entities to others, you need to stop. Because the boomerang effect is coming, and it, for some it already has happened and it's already hit them full force, like a Mack truck. What happens when a Mack truck, you see a squirrel laying flat in the road, okay? The squirrel doesn't exactly have the mental capacity like many of us do to understand that he shouldn't be running in the road and that there is a potential possibility for that squirrel to get run over and flattened. We can only be nice so long. You know, the justice makers, the karma, Enforcers and punishers. That's what's happening. And they don't think it's funny. 
we can laugh all we want. We can laugh at everything until the cows come home. It's the election. Everything. Laugh away. Laugh. <laughs> it's good to laugh, and you need to laugh, but you also need to not take your focus off all of this. This is all distractions. 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 My mouth is a distraction. My nose is a distraction. As I look at myself, sometimes you can't even see my eyes in this video. I purposely did this for a reason. We need to stop judging. And maybe we should all start wearing name tags. Chantel the Purifier. Stan the Man. I'm working on purifying myself, my surroundings. And though I don't wear kid gloves, and I don't wear a name tag directly, the realms behind the veil know who I am, and they know my heart, and they know my intention, as they know yours as well. We really need to watch what we're doing and watch down to the level of thinking, to the level of action and level of speech. No one is breaking open the applause. For me especially, and I don't care, I'm actually grateful to be where I'm at in, this, in my life. I'm grateful for every freaky weird experience I've had because it makes me a bigger and better person. It makes me grow. And it makes me see what I'm really here for. And it's not to make friends. It's not to wait for an applause or a pat on the back, or a cookie in my mouth. I'm here to make a difference. And the wheat and the chafe have separated. We must understand they're not wearing name tags. And as far as the twin flame goes, for those of you who are with your twin flame, realize that Everything has a fractal component. Those fractal components exist in everything, in all matter. And spirit and flesh do separate. And upon each death, there is a breaking up of matter and a breaking up of spirit. And imagine it happening so many times, sometimes in some cases, thousands of times this has occurred for some soul, soul cellular beings. They've experienced it so much that those fractal pieces can be seen in others. Pieces of self are facing off, like face off in a way, but not quite like that movie. Pieces of self are facing off, but no one is wearing a name tag. You have to use the eyes, your smell, your nose, your tongue. You have to use all of your senses to identify what and who and why, what is happening, what are you dealing with, who is this from your past. There's no time to run. You have to face it. We have to face it. I'm working on a comedy routine. I didn't do so well with this one, but I am going to be talking to some of my friends. We originally were going to do a really fun thing, and we're still going to do it now that I see the lighting here. I think we could pull it off. Um, <clears throat> so I guess be watching for metaphysical, mystical weirdness coming to the YouTube channel near you or a watcher. Bye-bye. Love ya. Love ya, love ya, love ya. No name tag.